friends, eaters, Americans. We are gathered here today to mourn the death of our variously beloved and bemoaned set of national food policies known as the Farm Bill. The Farm Bill was born in 1933 during the Great Depression. Early in its life it helped solve a national farm and food crisis by encouraging farmers to leave land fallow or unplanted, providing loans to help stabilize prices and giving surplus food to the hungry. However, as it got older, the Farm Bill fell prey to the influence of big corporations who manipulated it to benefit them by subsidizing the building blocks of unhealthy processed foods. At the same time though, Many advocates for sustainable farms and healthy food fought hard for a few important programs which supported local food systems, organic farming, and food access for all. Then, in 2012, a very polarized House of Representatives killed the Farm Bill by refusing to bring the bill to the House floor before it expired. Some programs, like federal crop insurance and some crop subsidies, live on because their funding is already allocated. The food stamp program lives on because of a continuing resolution passed by Congress. But newer programs, including many conservation programs, the beginning farmer and rancher development program, <laughs> the farmer's market promotion program, the national organic certification cost share program, the Organic Agriculture Research and Extension Initiative, Outreach and Assistance to Socially Disadvantaged Farmers and Ranchers, the Rural Energy for America Program, the Rural Micro Entrepreneur Assistance Program, the Specialty Crop Research Initiative, the Value Added Producer Grants Program, and many others have now lost their funding. We will all miss these beautiful aspects of the Farm Bill, and now we must pray for a miracle that in the lame duck session of Congress, following the election in November, the 2012 Farm Bill will again be taken up, debated, amended, and signed into law. Please come forward and take a handful of earth Into the darkness of a dysfunctional House of Representatives, we lay you down. Into the sadness of farmers seeking help and being turned away, we lay you down. Into the cycle of living and dying and rising again, we lay you down. May you rest in peace, though without fulfillment. And next month, after the election, may Congress take you up.